Thank you very much. So I'm Dave Zwieback, and I'm the head of systems at Newton. And what we've done is we've built an adaptive learning platform that really helps improve educational outcomes for our students. But I'm not here to talk about Newton. I'm actually here to talk about something that I don't think we've been talking enough about in the whole DevOps discussion. Let me start out by saying that I love you know, what's being said uh, in, in this discussion, all the multidisciplinary um, elements that are being brought to it. You know, I, I, Clams is awesome, I think it's, it's spot on, but we're not talking about the types of people that we actually need to make this DevOps thing work. What do they look like? What do they, you know, maybe they have neck beards? Like, what, what's going on? So some people have started talking about T-shaped people, right? So you've got a person with, you know, one area of expertise at depth and also this horizontal sort of understanding of a lot of different things. That's good. I think it's a start. You know, it gets us somewhere. But it sounds to me like a, um, a master of, uh, um, a jack of all trades, master of one. All right? And I don't think it's quite enough for the complex systems we're building here, right? So I would like to introduce a new concept to you, uh, comb-shaped people. So we need a lot of different skills. And one's not enough. Well, I'm being serious here. You know, um, we need devs, we need ops, etc. Now, if I went hunting for these people, what would they look like? What are, the, what are their properties? And I think the first thing is um, they've been doing it for a while, maybe 10 years. They have some unusual backgrounds, maybe some ops, some devs, some data visualization product management, et cetera, you know, and they've seen things fail over and over and over again. I think that's the number, their number one property. <clears throat> and so where might you find these rare individuals? Because they are rare. Ah, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> now, I've got good news and bad news for you. The good news is right now you're in the, like the epicenter of these types of people. You're surrounded by them. I would say they're like in the midst of the highest concentration of technology generalists anywhere. The bad, th the bad news is that, like unicorns, you see them, but they're kind of hard to hire. <laughs> right? You guys have tried to hire some of them? So we can do something about it. We can get more people to become technology generalists. right? And we can do it by asking one question. Do you want to be happy in your job? And the, why would you, you know, it, in my experience, the, the happiest technologists are, technology, are generalists. You know, we know, we know that uh, siloed um, organizations are bad. You know, DevOps itself is a reaction to over-specialization. And so, you know, Thoreau, he went into the woods. He built this cabin all by himself. And he loved it so much, he actually wrote a book about it. And so ask, your, ask these folks, do you want to build a house or do you want to build a nail? And especially at web scale, you really need these people who understand how the whole thing is put together. You know? Otherwise, it's just going to fall down. Actually, you need these people to know how this thing falls down. So if you don't have these folks convinced by this point, offer them some more beer. And if that doesn't work, <laughs> tell them about in ecology. You actually have generally species and specialist species. It's true. And although the koala bear might be more prized, guess what happens when the eucalyptus leaves, which this thing feeds on, uh, are in short supply? You can also ask your friendly neighborhood COBOL programmer about what it's like to be a specialist. Just saying. Now, public service announcements for all the managers out here. Please do this. Please. OK? Now, um, it, it really will help everybody. It will help the people that work with you. It will help the community. It will create more technology generalists. We're doing this at Newton, and it's, you know, even though we're kind of early at this, at, at this thing, it's really already paying dividends. So my name is Dave Zwieback. I'm here all week, kind of. Come talk to me. Thanks a lot.